Hey, it's Esco Barca here, and in today's video I'm going to be discussing why it's a good thing that Frankie de Jong will stay at Barcelona, especially for the player himself. I even see 5 reasons why he won't regret staying with the Blaugrana. So let's just get right to it. First of all, de Jong has always just wanted to stay and the whole saga around him started because of one reason. He had to decrease his wages and he didn't want to. At the same time, teams like Man United offered him much higher wages than Barcelona were gonna pay him. Then, it's only logical that a player starts to doubt his future and rumors start to spread. At the moment, it's very unlikely he's still gonna leave though, so he will eventually lower his salary probably. And some people see this as injustice to Frankie de Jong, but if you're at a club that's in financial trouble and you're a professional footballer, which means money is the least of your worries, is it then weird that Laporta asks him to lower his income? Of course not. It's not like he's the only player either, he's just one of the highest earners, so he can help the most. If De Jong now lowers his wages, it means that he technically chose Barcelona above money too, and that's one of the things fans appreciate most. And he might earn a little less, but come on, is money the most important thing for a professional footballer? Absolutely not. It's to have a successful career, so if you know Barcelona is a club he wants to succeed at, then it was the right choice to play there for less money. And his relationships with the fans will only improve, so even financially, you see why it's not bad that he stays with the Blaugrana. Next, he's one of Barcelona's most expensive signings in history, with 85 million euros. Up till now, he's definitely not been bad, but he's just not been consistent enough. And now he's 25, so for him to leave now would kind of mean that his Barcelona spell was a flop. He's easily still got 7 years at his very best though, so why would he leave now? Just when Barcelona are becoming better again and he can be one of their main players. His greatest years at the club that he wants to succeed at are probably still to come. So to leave now and go somewhere else where he'll need to adapt again definitely wouldn't be the right decision. Another reason it's good that he stays is his family. It's no secret that any player that has played for Barcelona loves the city and climate and no one leaves Barcelona because of the city. And though he's from Holland, where rain is the most normal thing in the world, he and his girlfriends prefer the Barcelona sun as do most people. So again, a reason why staying in Barcelona is a better choice than going to Manchester or London. Then, it's time to talk about his spell with the Blaugrana up till now. The one thing that's always been the problem with him is the fact that he didn't really fit into the midfields, and it was unclear which position he really needed to play in. He's been the more offensive midfielder who makes runs into the box, he's been the more controlling Xavi-like midfielder, he's been the defensive midfielder, and he's been a centre-back. And I actually think that he's at least decent in all of these positions, and people exaggerate a lot when they say he doesn't fit at Barcelona. But if you would ask me what's the best suited role for him, then I'd say he should be the midfielder who gets into the box and drives forward with the ball. Basically, the one out of the three who runs the most. This fits him because of his stamina and his ability to just burst into open spaces with the ball on his feet. And it will be perfect combined with someone behind him like Busquets or Pjanic and someone next to him who is more of a playmaker like Pedri. So what does this mean for the young himself? If he goes to another team, he will have to adapt again. And it's not sure whether he won't just have the same so-called problems there. In Barcelona, he's familiar with Xavi's system and he's played numerous great games already. It's definitely an exaggeration to say that his first years at the Blaugrana were a waste of time, and in that time it has only become more clear what's the best role for him as a Barcelona player. Then there's one last reason he's probably better off staying. A lot of players who leave Barcelona tend to regret it and aren't better off elsewhere. Neymar is probably the best example of this. Barcelona is just a great place to develop and often players don't realize what they have until it's gone. Surely, under a coach like Xavi, there might be no better place for Frenkie de Jong to reach his full potential than at Barcelona. Xavi is maybe the best midfielder to have ever played the game, he's tactically one of the smartest minds ever and he can analyze the game like no one else. Even most other managers, I think. So, for de Jong, this might be the best coach to have. And I know Erik ten Hag knew him from his time at Ajax and is one of the best possible managers too, but he wasn't as good of a player as Xavi was. And he never played for Man United. Xavi, on the other hand, has played hundreds of games for Barcelona, and has had periods where he was a hero as well as periods where all the problems were blamed on him. So, under the pressure that you get from playing for the Blaugrana, there's literally no one better to get you through it than Xavi himself. Also, there's way more competition in the field than there has generally been the last couple of years, and more than at Man United or Chelsea too. With Pjanic saying, Gavi becoming better and better, Kessie, who will also want to succeed at Barcelona, Busquets, who still at the club, and Pedri, who is probably Barcelona's best midfielder right now, Frankie de Jong will have to be at his very best if he wants a place in the team. So, for his improvements as a player, the fierce competition in midfield is a great thing. And Barcelona is probably still the best place for de Jong to reach his full potential. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and feel free to share your own opinion on Frankie de Jong in the comments down below. Forza Barca and have a good day.